Hip pain is a very, very um, common condition amongst lots of countries, but particularly countries where we have a slightly more sedentary culture, so where we're sitting more, and we are seeing an increased um, incidence of hip pain developing. And uh, it can affect anyone, any age. We, I, I mean, I treat people at, in primary school with hip pain and I treat people in their 80s and 90s with hip pain. So it can definitely show up across the lifespan as well. Um, yeah, and there are lots and lots of different causes of hip pain. So the first recommendation I have for anyone who is dealing with any hip pain is go get it medically assessed by someone who is trained and can give you a proper diagnosis of what's going on. Sometimes that requires imaging. Often it doesn't require imaging, but you really, really want to figure out is it muscle? Is it tendon? Is it ligament? Is it joint? Um, sometimes it can actually be a referral from your back. So you want to make sure it's not coming from your back. Um, all these things to consider. So yeah, first recommendation is figure out the, the nature of the beast that you might be dealing with. And then from there, um, your physical, therape physical therapist or rehabilitative chiropractor or your rehab specialist can help build you a plan to to fix it. A big cause of hip pain is hip arthritis. So conditions like hip osteoarthritis, which is um, generally associated with degenerate degeneration of the hip. And that definitely um, occurs later in life. However, um, you know, people can start having that in their thirties and forties, particularly if they have a very a significant um, sporting background. Um, sometimes they need to go in for surgery about thirties or forties just to have the joints cleaned up. Um, but definitely generally we see a prevalence, an increased prevalence of that, yeah, in their 60s and 70s onwards. Um, but then you can also have inflammatory arthritis of the hip, and that can actually be that can actually um originate quite young. So when people are kind of in a juvenile age as well. Um, I know with my runners, I'm a running coach and I treat a lot of runners. And so um postpartum women have a much higher risk of developing hip pain than any other group. Um, and it's partly just due to the way that the pelvic mechanics change after childbirth. So, um, yeah, it depends on the, the, the type of hip pain, but definitely that, that classic kind of hip arthritis, that definitely does tend to increase with age. That's definitely a really, really useful question and definitely somewhat, something um, if someone is having hip pain, they should ask themselves because depending on the location of the pain, it might be really um, diagnostic as to actually what's going on with their hip. So for example, a lot of people get hip pain kind of non-specific towards more of the back of the hip. And they'll just have this like dull ache there. Very often that can be um, muscular. So it can be something from like your gluteus medius muscle. It can also sometimes be a referral from the low back there, or even some of the joints, things like your sacroiliac joint in the back. If you're getting hip pain in the front, then we need to be thinking about um, what's, what, what, um, what is anatomically sitting in the front of the hip. And very often those kinds of pains in the front of the hip could be more due to what we call an impingement of the hip. So there's some hip compression going on and that's actually um, the joint surfaces and the cartilage of the joint surfaces are actually giving you pain or even the hip flexors through the front there. Um, uh, soccer players, they do a lot of kicking, so they get a lot of these adductor, um, adductor discomfort sort of right on the inside of the hip. Um, and uh, also pregnancy and even post-pregnancy, a lot of women get that kind of pubic symphysis pain at the front of the hip as well. Um, so, and then what else? We've got side of the hip. So if it's more on the side of the hip very often, but not all the time, but often that's muscle. So generally that's sort of that gluteus medius, gluteus minimus area coming down into um, the side of the hip, or you can even have a hip bursitis. That's quite common, particularly if you're getting hip pain at nighttime. That's definitely something you want to rule out that you don't have a hip bursitis. A lot of people get pain just at night when they're lying on that hip. Um, and that can be a sign of that hip bursitis going on. Um, so yeah, it really, really depends. It's a really useful question to ask yourself, where am I getting this pain in the hip? Because that can be quite diagnostic. Um, and you want to take that information along with you to your appointment with who, whichever medical practitioner you choose to go see. Um, and they will help you figure out exactly, is it muscle? Is it tendon? Is it ligament? Is it joints? Um, based on that information. Mm -hmm.